So here we are on Savvy Island, which is north of Portland. About to do a trail that goes out to a lighthouse. It's 6.9 miles out and back, I think, 5.9. Yeah, and it's along the uh, the, the coast. So we're the island's in the middle of the Columbia River. Right. And it's very. Uh, Agricultural, pastoral. 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 So maybe we might see a cow or so. And apparently, we go through a nude beach along the way. So yeah, and we just crossed through a barbed wire fence. So that, very exciting yeah. stuff. So here we go. Okay, we've had our first wildlife encounter with a giant cow patty. Should we do our foot picture here? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> so here's the Columbia River. Okay, so this trail appears to be very well marked <laughs> <laughs> with the giant 30 foot orange and black signs with a spotlight on the top. So I don't think we'll get lost on this trail. Actually, I think that must be some kind of navigation uh, marker for ships on the river. Uh, we just saw a giant container ship go up that river right there. So uh, it's a deep river and there's big ships that go up and down. So it'll be interesting to see if we see any more. But that is a big, big sign. So I guess they have poison ivy in Oregon too, because there appears to be a lot of it. So there's an osprey nest out on the channel marker right at there. We were told that there were uh, lots of osprey and lots of bald eagles. We haven't seen a bald eagle yet, but there's our first osprey. It's probably too small to see, but he's out there. Ground's a little muddy, so. Good idea to keep your shoelaces tied. So we're at a man-made canal that we've walked up to and it's still brown water and there are gigantic fish in here. I don't know if you can see one right here. There's three or four salmon in this little pond right here. And they're just splashing around and Having a grand old time in there. Maybe this is like a salmon spa. This is like a hot tub. So the sun actually came out. Doesn't look like it's gonna be out for very long, but I thought I'd take a picture of it just so people would actually believe me that the sun actually did come out for at least 30 minutes or so. Supposedly there's a lighthouse up here somewhere on the shore of the uh, Columbia at the point of the island because we're walking on the northern end of the island all the way up to where it comes to a point in the river. Um, so that's what we're looking for at this point. And right now we're walking through a meadow with big blackberry bushes piled up on one side and, and uh, just grass on the other. So I think this is the end of the trail. We're coming out up here. Oh yeah, there's the lighthouse. So we must be near the tip of the island. So let's go check this lighthouse out. So here's the little lighthouse. I think the book said the original one was built in like the late 1800s and then it burned down and this one was built in 1930 something. So it's kind of cool. Sitting out here on a little point in the river. It's really pretty out here. This is drop dead gorgeous countryside. Nice big wide beaches. 
Everybody's got their dogs out. It's really nice. Well, the trail guide mentioned that uh, big container ships would pass us on the uh, in the main channel of the Columbia River, and there's a big one out there. I don't know if you can see it with this wide-angle lens, but it's a big uh, container ship. We've also got kayakers and uh, fishermen out here in the river, hopefully a long way away from that giant ship. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's not stopping for anybody. The trail to the tip of the island, we're almost, I believe, to the tip of the island, is along the beach. And there's quite a few fallen trees here that you got to just kind of step over. Uh, and there's the ruins of something big and concrete up here out in the water. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, we will check it out. Here's some ruins up on the tip of the island. I think we're just about as far as we can walk. We'll try to make it a little further. But uh, it's interesting. It's an ancient yeah, there's, hexagonal there's, bolt. Look up here. There's all kinds of debris on the beach. It almost looks like maybe a shipwreck here or something because there's stuff littered all over the beaches. Just big metal, big chains, big metal pins, some kind of massive piece of machinery made a violent end right here. So here's what they meant by the big huge container ships come into within just a few feet of the beach. This is amazing. It doesn't look like the water would be deep enough for something that big. Because that is a huge ship. And it's not more than maybe 300 feet out into the river. And it is moving fast too, so it would be a little scary to kayak or canoe out in this river with one of those things could come around the corner at any minute and you may not be able to get out of the way in time. I guess you stay close to the shore. But that is cool. And that is not something you see every day. Okay. The wake from that big ship that just went by just got to the shore. And you can see how deep it got. Because my pants and my camera and everything else is soaked. And so the inside of my shoes both have about a quarter water on them. So, lesson. When the big container ships go by, <laughs> go up land, get away from the beach. Okay, I think this is the last of the wakes from the ship. Ah! What do you think about Salvi Island? I love Salvi Island. It is very pretty. Very pretty. Well, I think it's a good walk. It's mm. easy. It's flat. Uh, it's beautiful with the river and you get to see the cool ships. Just stay away from the wakes on the beach. Mm. And um, take a snack so you can eat it at the lighthouse on the log that's there. Yep. Yeah. Great trail. Great trail.